<laughs> okay, so little demonstration of hydrogen bonding. Now you guys know all about water. You've been around for years. You know that if you take something that is more dense than water, like this little brass weight, that you drop it in there and it sinks to the bottom, right? And you know that if you take something that is less dense than water, like this pencil that's mostly wood, that it floats, okay? Well, yes and no. This is sulfur. Now, off the top of my head, I don't know what the density of sulfur is. We can look it up if you like, but it's greater than one gram per centimeter cube. And it just so happens that one gram per centimeter cube is the density of water. So if sulfur is greater than one gram per centimeter cube, what should it do when you put it in water? It should sink. Now, yes, physics can definitely explain this. So this whole thing becomes. A little bit more. There we go. Now, if you want to get here and take a look into the beaker, you'll see a couple of interesting things. Um, obviously, you see that the, the sulfur is on top of the water, not below it. Also, look around the edges of the beaker. Can you see that the water is actually slightly higher on the edges than it is in the center? Yes. So you can see it there where the sulfur is very thin. You can see that the sulfur actually doesn't quite touch the beaker. Yeah. Yeah? See, so it's close, but it doesn't touch it. All right. That's that capillary action I was telling you about earlier. Now, this is because of that unique property of water that we talked about earlier, the hydrogen bonding. So it means closed. I, good point. <laughs> I want a single drop is what I want. So this is how I get a single drop, if I can. A single drop of soap causes a cascade. That's because it breaks the surface tension? The soap is a substance called, it's a surfactant. And what it does is it breaks up hydrogen bonds. When it breaks up the hydrogen bonds, then it breaks the surface tension. Because the surface tension was all that was holding the sulfur on top of the water. Now, the single drop of soap started it, but let's go ahead and put another drop in and let it finish. There we go. <laughs> so was this floating on top? It was being held up by the surface tension of the water. Like the boat. Just like the water strider. Exactly. So technically, it wasn't floating. Because floating is a buoyancy thing. It's where something is less dense than water, and so the water holds it up. This is actually something a little different. Welcome to the wonderful world of hydrogen bonding. <laughs>